Joseph, and this is my Tale of the Chaser, Tora V. Into, uh, into watching drifting at like a young age. And uh, ever since then, I've been in love with JDM cars. Two years ago, I, um, I met my friend over there. He's got the same car. And uh, I knew about Toyota Chasers, but I didn't know how good they actually was until I got in his. Four months later, I bought the same car. So um, I was lucky enough to know a guy in Birmingham that I was put onto by a friend. He uh, imports loads of Toyota Chasers. And uh, this one came up. It was late last year. At the time, it was completely stuck. Everything internal was stuck, completely stuck. Stuck wheels. When I got it, I uh, put an exhaust on it, intake, manifold, um, and full engine refresh. When I got it, it was completely dusty, full of dirt. And uh, since then, I've cleaned it. It's in a bit better state now. I got the car from Akiyama. It took uh, three months to get to England on the, on the boat, another two weeks to register. And I use it as a completely a, a daily car. It's never missed a beat, it always goes, starts first time, and it's fun to drive. I take it uh, on the highways, but it's also good on the Togue. It's an all-rounder, it's a great daily. So it's a 1JZ GTE, and right now it's running about 320, 3, 330 horsepower. It's intake, exhaust, full engine refresh. It's got D-Max coilovers, SSR wheels, 18 inch. Right now it's got the Tora V kit on it, as it come. It's stock, she looks good. So when I get back to England, it's getting manual swapped, vertex kit, full uh, respray. Turn up the power to about 550 with a turbo, injectors, fuel pump, and that's about it. It's, uh, it's probably gonna stay a daily because it's the perfect car for a daily, four doors, big boot, can't really go wrong. But uh, once it's got the power, it's just gonna be a nice little street car. So since owning this car, I have completely fell in love with it. It's now my favorite thing in the world. I'm gonna keep it for the rest of my life. It's a dream come true.